understand the underlying cause to occipital neuralgia. Frequently it can come from injury, sometimes a whiplash injury. Sometimes it can simply be that the course of time with arthritis that we develop in our neck, which happens to all of us with age, can cause irritation of the nerve where it runs along the spine. Treatment can involve physical therapy, acupuncture, injections, perhaps medications, stretches, or other modalities. It's very common for people to have pain in the back of the head. Sometimes it radiates over the back of the head and can go all the way down to where it feels like it goes behind the eye. In extreme cases, we can do nerve stimulation, where we put the equivalent of a pacemaker and provide low voltage electricity around the nerve to mask the pain and allow the patient to function better. This is done as an outpatient procedure and first a patient undergoes a trial where they go home with a temporary external unit and use that for anywhere from three to seven days to see if the stimulation is helpful and beneficial for them. These are procedures that I traditionally do using ultrasound. Patients go home, they do very well, and if they like the stimulation, they frequently come back several weeks later and have a permanent device implanted. Again, an outpatient procedure, they go home and do very well. I've seen patients who have stimulation or a simple occipital nerve block go from having debilitating and crippling headaches every day to being able to get back to doing the activities that they want and need to do to get through their day. Getting back to work, spending time with their children, spending time with their loved ones, being able to enjoy